Hello friends and welcome. You're watching episode number 16 of our Watford Skellington Railroad Transport Fever Let's Play. My name is Sean and I'm glad you're joining me as I play some more video games today. When we left off, it was 1937 and we were done upgrading all of our trains. I'm going to start adding some lines, some trains onto our new lines here in a minute. But I did just get done reading a comment from uh, our viewer Yuzu. Uh, thank you Yuzu for your great comment. I appreciate a lot of the tips uh, that you've given in there. Um, there are some things that... Uh, uh, some things I discussed quite a bit in the last episode, uh, but some things I hadn't really thought much about or at least hadn't spoken much about. One of those being the thought about centralizing my stops based on the districts. Um, you can see I just happened, like, stumbled into it here in uh, Halifax. But let's, uh, let's take a look at the rest of our towns and see how our stops are set up relative to where the districts are and everything. Here in Watford, uh, we're in pretty good shape with... Uh, oh, wait, we're not even using that stop, are we? So this stop... Yeah, now see, we might be better off having um, our, um, for example, having the truck use this one. So this one drops off over here, and that one drops off over there. But you know what? Nobody drops stuff off over here. So I wonder if having, like, this stop would cover a lot of it. It might be better to have our trucks, like, have a stop here for the trucks, than have a stop over here for the trucks. So, like, if I tried that, and then, like, that, it seems to cover most of the commercial district there. And so then we would go, we should have two truck lines here, Watford Goods 1, Watford Goods 2. So, um, like, let's get rid of London Road, and we'll add Victoria Street. And then for goods two, we'll get rid of Church Road, and we'll add whatever that one is, Main Street. All right, let's see if that makes a difference. I think that I think it will. So that was a good uh, a good tip there from Yuzu. Something and like I knew these things. I knew this from Train Fever and Train Fever. I definitely planned all this stuff around those things. But uh, you know this game's quite a bit different. And uh, over here, like all of our trucks going to North Street. What is up with the... Boy, what a mess. So, like, we definitely should pull these trucks away from... Hey, wait a minute. Ah, the game insists on having that road there. Like, it rebuilt that road. But you know what? We should build a different truck stop here uh, to eliminate that big crush of, uh, of vehicles that are going there. Like, maybe on one of these roads going through here. I would need to upgrade the road to make that work, though. But that's not a problem. We can we can handle that. There we go, just like that. And uh, let's put that stop like right here. That's pretty good. Um, and we will. So that's good line two. That's going to be good line one right there. So you're the one who's going to Victoria Street. Let's have you go to that one instead. And let's remove Victoria Street from there. And uh, maybe that'll clear up some of that traffic. I hope it will. Um, and down here, now see, the problem is, is when these guys drop off down here, they're, they're trying to get out this way, and that is just blocking up all of the traffic. Can I upgrade these streets, maybe, to, to help out with that? It sure would be nice if you could set, I mean, I know I could set, um, as a matter of fact, let's do that. I can set like waypoints by having a stop over here and like making these guys stop at that bus stop on the way out. So line two here, you can stay at your normal stop that you're going to, um, but we are gonna add, add a station after North Street to where you stop at this one on your way out. So that way uh, we can eliminate uh, all that traffic. Well, it looks like maybe you've kind of picked up on that on your own, huh? So you know what? That might not be necessary. Hmm. Let's let it run a little while and see what happens. I sure don't like that it keeps wanting to, to build that street in there, though. That's the... Uh, because, ah, what a mess. You know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to, since this is not a bus stop, it's just a truck stop, I'm going to erase that one. That way they have to come in from this direction and maybe that'll 
Maybe that'll clear some of that traffic up. Uh, let's give it. Let's give it a little time to run. Let's take a look down here. So down here, yeah, same thing over here too. So where are the goods coming from? The goods are coming from over here. If I put a bus stop right there, and then have, let's get rid of those. I'm gonna leave that open. All right, Burton Goods One goes to New Road. Yep, yeah, that's the one that I don't want. I want it to go to Grange Road. So that'll help clear up some of that traffic. And if I put another road in here like like this, that might uh, divert them over that way. Although I do have it coming in from that direction. So uh, is that how I want to, if, um, if I go another little piece of road like right there, them rearrange where they're going. It's going to take a little while for them to uh, to uh, kind of get that set up. So, yeah, but that is um, that is a real mess. I might want to move this stop for the uh, goods and stuff over to there as well. That one I haven't even started up yet. Here, again, we could do that here too. Like, this stop isn't quite so bad. But you know what? It's probably not. Um, it'd probably be even better if I put it like right. Oh, I'd sure like to get that stuff over there too. But if I put one, where are you coming from for Budley? You're coming from over there. So if I put one right there, and then here, if I put one right there, and then if we look at Budley 1 and Budley 2, so Budley 1, I'll have you go to. This one and skip out on Queen Street. And Butley 2. I'll have you go to this one and skip out on the drive. Over here, Bentham. Bentham is a real mess, isn't it? Like this commercial one isn't so bad, except for it's in a terrible spot, uh, like traffic wise. So you're coming from this way. So we'll have you go there. And then you're coming from this way. So we'll have you go. But I really would like you to get off of the. Uh, that should be fine. All right. Um, I want to upgrade that road if I can. And I can. Uh, that one. I, that would be a downgrade if I did that one. All right. So we have Bentham two, Bentham one. I never remember to have that turned off. Uh, did we go back in time or something? That one looks like the other crocodile that came out however many years ago. All right, um, so Bentham 2 is going to Alexander Road, and we're going to have it go to that one instead. And Bentham 1 is going to West Street, and we'll have it go to that one instead. There we go, remove West Street. Cool. All right, let's see, let's see what happens with those. And is that all of my is that all of my cities? I think I've already done Halifax. Burton Latimer. That one these guys don't have any passengers going to them yet. Those aren't even towns. Uh, Watford and Skellington. Alright, so still pretty awful traffic here in uh, Skellington. Um, I don't know why there would be passengers at uh, North Street, right? That shouldn't have passengers. Oh, okay, it does. So which, oh, I just didn't reassign. Oh, there we go, that one is New Street. I did assign something to New Street, didn't I? I wonder if I can remove that one, I was gonna try that. All right, and, um, oh, that's line two, line two, two. This must be line one. Uh, I did fix that, didn't I? Oh, I forgot to remove Victoria Street. There we go. All right, that hopefully will help. All right, now we need to get 
all of the vehicles and everything set up over on these lines over here. So we have, let's look at the line, do visible only. Look at all these lines that we got running through here. It's insane. It's going to be, there's going to be a lot of traffic over here. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is set up a depot. There we go. Can I squeeze it in there and just make traffic even more insane? How about I don't do that? How about I just put it there? All right. So we're going to buy road vehicles. Oh, uh, look at that. We do have the ability to upgrade all of our trucks too. So that's cool. Okay. So we're going to buy a bunch of these. And we'll set those to Craven Food 1. Buy a bunch more. Set that to Craven Food 2. And um, we need to have Foxtrot Cattle set up. It's going to be down here. It is. Um, box trap food is a train line. Do I have a train depot over here? I don't think I do. Uh, so I need to add one of those in here real quick. That'll be easy. Just there. And it doesn't need to be high speed. It's not going to come tearing out of the... Uh, tearing out of the thing like that. There we go. Flip you around. And we're going to buy a train and we'll throw on one of those. Now, what is the what is this one like? It doesn't go very fast, so. And then we'll put 10 10 cars on there. And you're going to go is it it's Fox Trucks Fox Trot Food. As a matter of fact, let's make a few clones. And we'll set line all box trap food. And then we'll just uh, stop some of these trains uh, before they before they go too crazy. Um, uh, I need to put some vehicles onto. I want to keep an eye on that thing right there. All right, so I need to put some vehicles onto here as well. Come on, let's wait till that train starts coming out of there. I'm not sure which line I need to go for over here. That train should pop out of here any moment now. Maybe. Maybe not. Do I not have my uh, signal set up properly over here? Okay. You can stop for a minute. All right, let's, uh, let's look in here. Let's look at the lines, visible only. Great, so I need construction materials. Construction materials. I need that ore line going. That's uh, what is it? Ore? Is it ho Shoot, hotel ore. There we go. Close you down. Close you guys down. Uh, I thought I did construction material, too. Oh, I did Beaudly construction material, too? Are you kidding me? Oh, boy. Visible only. Let's go back to the depot. Whoops. All right. I need to... There we go. We can let you start up here, I think speed you up a little bit. Gonna, it's going to take quite a while for those trains to, to get out of there. I'm just going to let them run. Probably not the smartest thing to do because they're not going to, they're not going to line up correctly. All right, over here I need to have a bunch of vehicles going over here too. Now why are you showing me bus lines? I do not, s oh, because I don't have visible only on anymore. There we go. I've got two Beaudly construction materials and then Juliet or 
So, buy vehicles. Set line all. Beautifully seam at one. Beautifully seam at two. Oh, I need to change the destinations for those lines, I think. You're gonna go um, four, right? Uh, this is uh, India, Juliet or huh? Juliet or great. And then up here, I'm gonna do by train, do one of those, throw a bunch of open wagons on it. It's one too many, there we go. Copy, set line all, India or. Um, do I have cars going on this steel line? It doesn't look like it. Foxtrot steel. Set line all. Foxtrot steel. There we go. Do I have okay, so I've got these ones going. Look at that, they're already carrying carrying goods and everything, which is fantastic. Hopefully we don't uh, get something screwed up to where it tries taking things to the wrong place or anything like that. But I don't think that's gonna be a problem. Uh, these guys are going to be on, uh, not Beaudly, but Craven Seamat too. There you go. Beautiful. Uh, that's right. Catalyst waiting for the food trains. Now, do I are all four of my food trains running already? There's one coming back. Two coming back. That's three. I thought I had four. Ah, there's four. So they are kind of jammed up here. I'm going to have you wait until the other train gets to its station. <laughs> Look at that traffic jam that I've got set up there. What a mess. I mean, it should redistribute itself before too long, but right now oh, it is super, super clustered up there. And once that train here gets to the station, I'll release this one. So there'll be at least these two trains will be kind of balanced out between the two of them. And then with this line, I did set up very long gaps in between the signals uh, to help uh, kind of spread these trains out a little bit. Uh, although we didn't really see that happening when we had those two trains that were like basically back to back with each other. But you can see here, I mean, like, look at, uh, that's a really long uh, gap uh, between those trains. Not that it's going to make enough of a difference, really. I guess if I eliminated this signal, I would make this train wait back here, which would help, uh, help uh, even them out a little bit. Let's give that a shot. All right, now how am I looking on my lines overall? Let's turn off visible only. Is there anything I've forgotten to get uh, get vehicles onto? I think I had set up all my lines correctly as well. So, um, Pangton, yeah, that one I'm less concerned about. All right, I'll go ahead and set those up now though. Um, although this uh, this area, all sorts of clustered up vehicles. This area definitely could use an upgrade on these roads. So let's go to road. Let's go large street upgrade. Beautiful. Can we do that all the way through here? Wow. I'm surprised by that. Okay, that's not too bad. Still a, a real mess right here, um, but uh, I think that once the 
once the vehicles get redistributed a little better. Um, uh, we just need need to give it a little time to run through. Uh, this is a mess, of course. Um, what uh, what do our districts look like here? So I might not have these these set up very well for their districts. Actually, I say might not. I would say I pretty much don't have them set up very well for their districts, do I? I probably could just have one stop right in the center and it would handle all of it. But, you know, like I set these up kind of with the idea that the game's going to uh, going to expand and it'll be able to cover more of that stuff as the as the road network expands. Like um, if I were to put a street like right here. Can I do that? Only turn up one building? Well, how about only tearing up $100,000 worth of buildings. Like, if I do that, does it expand the reach of that station? I want it to expand the reach of that station over to here. I'd have to probably put in a road going like that to get that to work. Uh, but you know what? Let's um, do residents demand food. It's pretty much only... Uh, pretty much only industry and stuff and, and shopping facilities that demand food, isn't it? So yeah, I would say that these vehicles, especially the ones delivering construction materials, they're really barking up the wrong tree. So I probably should have those going to like right there. Um, and and uh, like uh, like was said, there's, there's really no need, like I'm delivering construction materials over here for what? So these vehicles, uh, that's not how you go about doing it. You go about doing it like this, and we'll go visible only. Construction material two, go back to the depot. We're just going to get rid of all of you. I don't even need that line. Construction material one, you're going to drop Victoria Street, and you're going to deliver to this one right there, London Road. All right. And uh, you be so you guys only need to deliver to the shopping facilities, right? So uh, again, um, Craven Food one and two. So one is going to Park Lane, which is appropriate, and two is going to Victoria Street, which is completely unnecessary. So I'm going to send you guys back and sell you, and then we can get rid of that line. All right, good. Need to remember that in the future when I set up new lines. Again, I feel kind of dumb for not remembering that because I knew all that stuff in uh, I knew all that in uh, Train Fever. Um, all right, construction materials. So same thing. We only need to be delivering to the industry with our construction materials, and this one is going to the drive, which is unnecessary. So we're going to add green lane on there. We're going to remove the drive. And construction material two is delivering to Queen Street, which is uh, also kind of redundant. So we can get rid of that one altogether. So we're going to go ahead and send you to a depot, and that'll help clear up uh, some of our traffic. So not the best use of our money, buying trucks and then immediately reselling those trucks. But, uh, you know, whatever. It's all right. Uh, we need to go through and uh, upgrade uh, all of our uh, upgrade all of our vehicles. But you know what? We are just about out of time, so I could do that between episodes. So let's look at all of our lines here. Make sure that we have trains and and or vehicles on all of our lines. I think the Paganton Food was the one that doesn't have vehicles on it. So we do want to put those, and that is. Uh, I guess we would be best to have that deliver to, like right there. We can put a uh, put a road in, like here, so it can come back around to there. Good, and hopefully drop that stuff off. Let's upgrade the road to have a bus lane, like there. Very good. Um, nah, that's not necessary. Uh, great, and so um, we don't need both of these. We only need one, and we're going to adjust that one to remove that station and add that station. 
and that's good. Now, that no, nope, that's not going to be bringing construction materials because construction materials come from a different station. Cool. Oh, and look at that. We have steel waiting. So, is are, are these trains going to start carrying steel? It is starting to carry steel. Have we gotten any steel delivered? Probably not yet. I have any steel delivered up here, but we will uh, get some of that going on this station. And uh, let's. Uh, I'm, I'm just really anxious to actually see some steel get delivered and maybe actually start making some goods. Like we've been been, and then that that will allow the goods, uh, uh, the machine factory to upgrade because it apparently requires both steel and planks. I don't know if I mentioned that on the last episode. I know I was thinking about it. I guess that's the whole reason I started producing the steel. All right, so steel's being delivered. It's going to be waiting there. Hopefully it'll get picked up here. There's some steel being picked up. Is it that truck right there? Let's follow that truck. Boy, look at all that traffic. So many vehicles and a few cars running too. Get out of the way, cars. We don't need you on our stinking streets. Ah, production, robots, production. No upgrade or downgrade scheduled, but that's okay because now we are delivering all the stuff that's going to be needed to make that a successful factory. And how are we doing over here? We've got too much slag piled up. Are, are our trains uh, distributed uh, well? It looks like they are. Um, not running full, but that's okay. We don't expect them to be running full quite yet. It's going to be a while before production goes up on that one. It looks like these trains are evenly distributed, carrying eight slag. But more slag is going to be delivered to... Wait a minute. Ah, whatever. Uh, you know, the slag is just something to help keep them running more full between stations. Um, uh, but it looks like all sorts of uh, excitement is going on over here uh, with these, with these uh, stations and, and the construction materials being... Uh, Manufactured and Beaudley. Beaudley is getting, uh, it's a bus. I don't really want to look at the bus. I want to look at that right there. Look at that, construction materials being delivered. Cool, all right, guys. That's going to be it for this episode. Hey, I appreciate uh, appreciate the tips, Yuzu. And I appreciate all the viewers and uh, everybody having fun. And uh, man, this, uh, this new steel line is really exciting. Uh, I am anxious to see it working, and then uh, maybe we can get some more streamlining done in the way our other stuff is going. Uh, it's 1940. We're going to be getting some pretty cool trains here uh, before too long. Uh, thanks for watching, you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.